I'm spending a day here with Abishan and he's going to take me on a tour of Mumbai to show me how to live cashless. For the past year and a half, Abishan Pant, an expert in financial technology, has lived without cash, testing the take up in India and elsewhere of digital payments. My mobile phone. Okay. Tuk-tuks are no problem because they can be keyed into aggregators and Uber-style taxi firms like Ola, which allow digital payments. But the real challenge is with the millions of tiny businesses at street level. If you go on the street and if you go to, say, 20 retailers, Possibly six to seven of them will have different kind of acceptance mark, but still 70% of them will not have them. One popular form of digital payment is MobiQuick. Users can recharge this e-wallet through net banking, cash or cards. You can fire a QR code into it. You can even borrow money from it. While this chai shop owner likes digital payments, he's not sure it's for everyone. Kushal turned to digital payment apps like MobiQuick and Paytm when at the end of 2016, in an effort to combat tax evasion, the government pulled large currency notes out of circulation overnight. It drove many from dirty old cash to cleaner digital transactions. Meanwhile, Indian startups have aggregated and apped everything from at-home haircuts to household repairs, so Abhishant can now get a digital-friendly plumber. He's paid through another Indian app called Citrus. It holds all his debit card details and is favoured by many merchants. I as a consumer would like to have a single solution which helps me do all things. You may look at 20 different apps doing 20 different activities. We are not used to that kind of a clutter in our life. It's no wonder that Abhishant gets a bit flustered with the sheer numbers. Time for a nice head massage. So this is a heavenly experience. <laughs> the problem is his barber in common with many is yet to be sold on digital payments. But Abishant is undeterred. He came back and said that he's not comfortable using mobile wallets and all and all and all. So whenever I go to him for a head massage or a shave or a cut, I recharge his mobile phone of the secure equivalent value. Abhishant is going to need this kind of cunning for his next venture. He's planning to tour through Southeast Asia, China, Mongolia, Russia, then Europe, all without a Bangladeshi taka, Thai baht, Chinese Yuan, Mongolian Togrog of cash. <laughs>